The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse by Charlie Mackesy. So I will hold up the book. I feel like a bit <laughs> it's like Jack and Ori back in the day. Um, so it's an animated story uh, by Charlie Mackesy, as I said before. Um, I won't read the blurb at the beginning. I'll just get straight into the story. But it's a lovely little blurb at the beginning. So this is the boy. I'm just going to read that. Just the boy there. So it's lovely animated. It's a lovely book actually as well. So first things, hello. And you've got the mole there saying hello. Hello, said the boy. What are you doing here? Asked the mole. I'm lost, said the boy. Let's do that so you know where I am in the book. Oh dear, well that's no good. So, how did you get here? Asked the mole. Let's do that as well. Well, well, hello. Well, hello who? Hello cake. What cake? Asked the boy. That cake. It looks delicious. Spectacular. I mean, it's magnificent. I can't see a cake, said the boy. It's, it's, and it's all rolling up to the hill. Here. It's, oh, it's a tree. Are we there? It's a lovely tree and it did look a bit like cake. So yes, well, no cake and you're lost. Yes. An old mole once told me when you're lost, follow the river and it will take you home. But I can't see a river. Perhaps you could see one from the, from that branch. And if you happen to see a cake while you're up there, I'm so sorry, said the boy. Achoo! Oh no, I'm sorry, replied the mole. Are you okay? asked the boy. Completely my fault, said the mole. I'm really sorry. Well, no, thank you. I was feeling a bit warm, actually. And it's like, they're just in the tree. What can you see? said the mole. Nothing, really. Oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? asked the mole. Kind, said the boy. Hmm, said the mole. Nothing beats kindness. It sits quietly behind, beyond all things. And that's where I want to stop, because that for me is one of the big lessons. And it's actually on that part of the story where I actually did record this bit of the animation. Yeah. So I want to talk about kindness. And in my little clip, I put kindness is king. So, Lee, what are your thoughts so far on the story? And a lesson of kindness what are your thoughts i completely agree with the sentiment about it being king i think it was the right thing to say three or four years ago it became a bit of a trendy thing to be talking about it and i don't think it had been out there a lot beforehand as, as something people were promoting i think the fact that it is is a good thing what was the exact words it comes before all things how did it say yeah. it nothing beats kindness that's it, it sits quietly beyond all things which I think is a good lesson. I think if you can make that your number one mantra, I think that makes, well, for you and for other people, makes things a lot better, I would say. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think it's that thing of actually having that intention yeah. of kindness. And actually, since we've been sort of back in the new year, and I've, I've decided to get right back into my journal. I hadn't journaled since the 12-hour walk that I did. And so I've now started... I've not mentioned this 12-hour walk before, Jay. Did I mention it? No, just once or twice. <laughs> Doesn't work so well without Ryan here, though, does it? Bless <laughs> it. So I've just started on an, an intention. I'm putting an intention bit on my journal. And one of them is kindness. Second one's in the moment. And the last one is the one you've adopted, non-judgment. I'm, I'm going to try and be intentional about all those three things throughout the day. And I think they, so, they kind of go hand in hand as well, don't they? Yeah, I think they do. And I think if I can... if for, so for me, and I'm just trying to TikTok and everybody here, if we can maintain an air of that, going into every conversation, every interaction we have with others, I think that's going to put you in a good place. Even when you get people that are going to be horrible, that are going to be in your face, because let's face it, you are going to face people that aren't going to be very nice sometimes, right? Or they've got an agenda and you'll want to react to something. Um, so yeah, that was the reason why I love this. In fact, on Instagram, this little post that I've done is I got a quite a bit of traction as well, which is still resonating with people quite That's well. Really good.